Okay, um, welcome everybody to our Kima Corsic meeting. Um, it looks like a, a light meeting today. Um, we wanted to quickly um, have any uh, others, any questions that you guys have, also any feedback if you want to give us that. And we wanted to give you quick updates about what we are working on uh, for the current uh, release uh, for 09. And also, um, if you guys have any uh, specific problems or issues that you're facing, feel free to share them with us. Um, let me start first with the updates about what we are working on right now for um, 09. Um, the release date for 09 is going to be the 8th of April uh, with, the release, with the release name Florence. And uh, we have a couple of interesting themes or a um, couple of interesting stuff that we're working on. Um, first, we want to work on fully integrating uh, Knative eventing uh, as the default eventing system in Kima. So by default, Kima will be um, having um, Knative based eventing system running with uh, NAS streaming for the persistence of the messaging. Um, we have contributed that originally to Knative um, by um, using their uh, channels and subscription model. And we contributed what is called um, channel um, provisioner, cluster channel provisioner for net streaming specifically. So it's expected in 09 to have um, net streaming uh, running locally uh, with um, or behind uh, Canadian eventing abstractions. Also, um, we are working on having SGU 1.1 uh, uh, by default. And uh, this is also um, a, a very important uh, step for us. Um, out of that, uh, we will get rid of uh, Nginx Ingress controller uh, for the application connectivity and we'll be using um, STU directly. And um, also it will uh, allow us uh, with the new um, clean way of having that, we will um, allow us to have a single load balancer IP for all the components. And also we will have a simple conf uh, configuration for the deployments that use our dynamic DNS uh, for um, um, XIP.io. Um, and um, also will come a bunch of security stuff. So we'll enable mutual TLS by default um, because um, uh, with um, SGU 1.1 is a much more mature and stable version of SGU that we're having. Um, also, we are going to be working on a big topic, which is, um, uh, or enhancing from, from previously, the big topic of uh, upgradability and backup. So um, for upgradability, uh, out of the box, you'll be able to um, uh, upgrade the Akima cluster from previous version, so from 08 to 09, um, uh, automatically using Akima installer, and you'll have some uh, pretty, um, 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 co uh, pretty strong end-to-end -end tests for that covering this whole um, upgradability feature. Uh, for backup and restore, uh, we'll be able to uh, also have a backup for Kima system components and user workloads and restore that in a new cluster. Um, so all your um, um, workload will be able to be backed up and restored and we'll have end-to-end -end tests for these. Um, this is also one of the very interesting topics for now uh, that we are expecting in 09 that we're working on. Um, uh, also, um, there is a couple of uh, changes that will be available in the current UI um, for um, micro front end. So we'll have a model uh, micro front end. All our UI views will uh, be for mobile, which is also one of the things a lot of people have asked for um, um, for Kima console and um, uh, rendering uh, the documentation for now. Uh, in the new release, uh, the console will uh, render that based on a new component, um, which is uh, our headless CMS based on our new AST store, which is our own um, uh, completely new uh, way of um, um, content storage management uh, on different cloud providers. Um, uh, that way you'll be able to serve your um, API specifications uh, uh, out of different uh, cloud providers or um, even uh, locally in menu. Um, with that also we'll have, um, we'll focus more and more with the closing up to 1.0 um, on security enhancements and hardening. So uh, as I said, we'll have mutual TLS by default. 
Also, uh, Tiller will be only accessible using the client certificate for uh, specific com components. So um, only those who need to use Tiller will be able to access uh, Tiller directly. And we'll have a couple of um, extra uh, authentication and authorization layers on top of uh, some backend services that we're using, for example, for net streaming or uh, for um, um, a Helm broker uh, for TLS uh, with external bundle repositories. Um, that is basically the overview of uh, 09 that is expected, as I, as I said, on the 8th of April. So um, we will announce on it, as usual, on our Slack, uh, in case you want to have a release candidate and install it and uh, give us some quick feedback. Uh, also, please note that um, there are a couple of, um, um, right now we have 0.8.2, so there is a, a patch release for 0.8 with a couple of um, hotfixes that landed just yesterday, I, I believe, and you might also be uh, wanting to uh, try that one out. If you have faced any of these um, bugs originally, check the release notes uh, for 0.8.2. Um, with that, this is the main topic that we wanted to discuss with you today. So now maybe if you guys have any questions or feedback, um, um, feel free to open up for, for now. Okay. Um, we'll also soon um, expect that by the end of next week uh, will be announcement for our new release, uh, our upcoming release, uh, where um, so far we we know that uh, a, cu a couple of things that we'll be working on uh, will be uh, stability and uh, performance and optimization of schema, um, which is um, also becoming a, um, a more and more important topic uh, the closer we get to um, production ready schema. So with that, uh, we can go to the board and um, Lukas, do you want me to share the screen or will you open the board yourself? Um, maybe it's gonna be easy if you do it so I don't have to click through. But <clears throat> so you can start sharing and in yeah. the meantime you can add more um, because like 30 minutes before the call, I had a discussion with our release manager to talk about the 09 release. So we agreed, uh, had an agreement how we want to process with 09 release to have no delays like we had in the past. Um, so fresh info for you, we will start with the, with cutting the branch next Monday, 1st of April, and it's not a joke. Um, but of course, uh, we're gonna rebase <clears throat> always to the latest master until Friday. And we to have initial release candidate number one already on Wednesday to make sure that everything is stable already two days before the cut. And then we're gonna have a release candidate on Friday and then release as planned 8th of April. Mm -hmm. That's the current plan. Yep, cool. Um, I'm sharing my screen or we can go to our um, board now. And in the review, we have a couple of, um, let, me, let me just remove that. Uh, we have a couple of pull requests that are pending. Um, renaming file and change docs. Yeah, I think these are here. Let me just double check if we have. Yeah, that looks more like it. So um, I'm personally gonna uh, work on the proposal. For, it's an old proposal that was actually got a bit stalled and it needs a bit of refreshing because some some things there changed. So right now there are a couple of, uh, there is a way to have introduced feature uh, toggles in Kima uh, that came out of that proposal, but I need to just um, change a couple of things there um, because they this is a bit, old so I'm working on this. Um, I should expect to finish it within a couple of days um, once it gets approved and merged. Um, and the to-do, um, yeah, I think it's the same uh, ones from before because we have been deprioritized for now for this one, uh, the release process. Um, and also we have a new 
um, proposal from Gophers that is still in to-do, how to allow editing of components um, and its version of the chart in the same pull request, which both are related to enhancing the way we want to release schema and um, increasing the speed of our pull request merge. Um, this also, uh, they are probably, they are both related together and we need to finalize on that. But nothing else uh, that looks to me. So yeah, that's all about that. Back to you, Lukas, if you would like to um, have any extra topics that you want to talk about. Okay. So rather questions to uh, Max, Chris, Kishar, do, do you expect to have some further discussion about this um, issue that you reported or you just joined because you more regularly join? Yeah, you you mean about the the, the performance issue I I posted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. well, right now I um I will wait um for the next release for the EC upgrade, and then I will just rerun the test and and have a look at it again and uh, give you an update then on this. Probably the yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, just one question. Maybe maybe I missed it. Um. About Loki. Um. And the integration of Loki into Grafana. Will will this be in the next release? Is it? more or less confirmed that it will be in the next release or is it somehow postponed? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that uh, because I yeah. yesterday talked to Grafana team, they still do some upgradability tests and maybe these took longer than expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But lo lo Loki is in, in um, this release available, you can use without Grafana for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have also an, an UI for that, and hopefully for this release we can re, um, ship it. And basically, we can access from the console to the mm -hmm. your logs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Any other questions, guys? Well, as I said, it looks like a pretty quick uh, meeting today, so. We'll give you your time back and end it here. Thanks a lot. And uh, we'll share our recording once it's available very soon on Slack. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Okay, bye. 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 bye.